Scott's Kubota is one stock that would remain in focus. The stock declined as much as 10% in trade and this was after the company reported a weak set of numbers and the guidance was also cut for FY25. Let's listen to what Shristi has more details on Scott's Kubota. For escorts this time, the numbers were actually weak than what the street was penciling in. But the bigger dampener was the guidance cut by the company on the whole tractor industry growth because uh, this was somewhat anticipated, but it's now coming to be official because in Q3, uh, in Q2, the company did guide that for full year of FY24, they are expecting the domestic tractor industry to see a growth of plus 2 to minus 2 percent. In that range, they were expecting this. But now they have said that going ahead for the full year of FY24, they are expecting the domestic tractor Tractor industry to record a decline of six to seven percent, and uh, this is definitely a dampener because this time around, uh, Escort's domestic tractor volume has actually declined more than the industry. Industry saw a decline of around five percent in Q3, and Escort's Kubota decline was actually at six percent. Other than that, the poor monsoon, especially in the southern region, has uh, led to a five percent decline in Q3 of FY24. Um, if we talk about the decline due to the monsoon deficit, especially in the southern region that this could translate into the double digit decline of 12 to 13 percent in Q4 because 5 percent decline is what we have already seen in Q3 coming in. So a double digit decline in the tractor industry growth is what we can witness in Q4 and going ahead uh, for the future outlook. Definitely the investors and the traders are not happy with. Other than that, the material cost has also seen a jump up versus Q2. A percentage of the raw material cost was close to 68 percent. That has seen an inch up to 69.4 4 percent this time around though escorts has gained market share on a quarter on quarter basis but despite the fact the challenges in the near term such as the domestic as well as the international markets do persist and these could be the likely headwinds for the company and the management also said that inflationary pressures could also be there going ahead so on back of all of these factors we are seeing escorts as one of the top losers in fno segment today